In this video, we're exploring the cars, trucks, and SUVs that can maybe reach 250,000 miles and beyond. And I actually own one, so it's kind of verified. I'm not gonna make you wait either. I've got 30 vehicles to show you, and we're gonna start from the best to the worst. But don't worry, uh, if your vehicle's in this list, but you're like spot 20 or 30, you're still above average. So like, don't be ashamed, let's just, let's just roll through them. So we'll go through the top 30 vehicles first, then we'll go through the top seven manufacturers, and then we'll hit HD, the, like the heavy duty trucks, and then sedans. And then I have some thoughts on the data. I wanna see if you guys pick up some of these kind of weird anomalies. Without further ado, the top spot, number one, is the Toyota Tundra. Now, of course, they're talking about the first and second gen Tundra here, right? Not the third gen. All right, spot number two, the Toyota Sequoia. Well, that's first and second gen Toyota Sequoias. Uh, both of these are coming in at 36% chance of reaching 250,000 miles. That's over 4.2x the average. The average is 86 so the average vehicle, like a baseline, has a 8.6% chance to reach 250,000 miles. All right, spot number three, the Toyota 4Runner. But I actually was surprised that the 4Runner wasn't in the top spot because it's kind of regarded as the best car. You know, like everybody thinks the 4Runner is the most reliable, but actually the Tundra and Sequoia are both more reliable or have a higher chance of hitting 250,000 miles. So the 4Runner is at 26.8% chance of uh, hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number four, the Toyota Tacoma, 26.7% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number five is the Toyota Highlander Hybrid. I'm surprised to see a hybrid in this spot. That's crazy. 25.9% chance of reaching 250,000 miles. Spot number six, the Honda Ridgeline. I actually have a friend with a Honda Ridgeline and that thing's still kicking and running great and they love it. 25.8% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number seven, the Chevy Suburban. Now I'm sure this is probably like older Suburbans in specific years, because I had a 2007, oh the man, that thing was, a. there's no way it was gonna reach 250. 22% chance of reaching 250,000 miles. Spot number eight, the Toyota Avalon at 22%. Spot number nine, the Lexus GX. Everybody talks about Lexus uh, as, as an alternative to the 4Runner. So that's a 20.7% chance of reaching 250,000 miles. Chevrolet Silverado 1500, 18.8% chance and 2.2 times the average. So Silverado's up there pretty good for half ton trucks. Spot number 11, the GMC Yukon XL, which, you know, all the GM Chevys are kind of on the same platform, kind of like the Tundra and the Sequoia there. So GMC Yukon XL, 17.9% chance of hitting 100 or 250,000 miles. Next on the list, number 12, the Chevrolet Tahoe. Ton of Tahoes on the road, man. These are probably a lot of the older ones, but you see high mileage in these as well with the old 5.3. Uh, I see those things still buzzing around all over where I live. 17.7% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 13, the Honda Pilot, 17.5% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 14, the Honda Accord. Hey, my daughter's got an Accord. That thing just hit 200,000 too. It's a 2004, I think. 16.6% .6 chance of hitting 250,000 miles, 1.9 times the average. Spot number 15, GMC Sierra 1500. That's similar to the Silverado, 16.1% chance. Spot number 16, Ford F-150. Hey, F-150 owners, don't be upset that the Silverado and the Tundra are up above you, you're still above the average. Don't be upset. 15.8% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 17, Toyota Highlander, 15.7% chance. Of Spot number 18, Nissan Titan, 14.8% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 19, GMC Yukon, which is kind of similar. I'm surprised the XL was above that. Maybe they sell more Yukons and they're actually rated down. That's a little weird. 14.6% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 20, the Honda CRV, 13.9% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. And spot 21, the Toyota Camry at 13.5%. Spot 22, Ford Expedition, 13.1% chance of hitting 250,000. Spot number 23, the Honda Accord Hybrid. Another hybrid on the list, that's surprising. 13.1% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 24, the Nissan Pathfinder, 
percent chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 25, the Toyota Prius. I'm surprised the Prius isn't higher on here. Everybody talks about how reliable it is. It's below a lot of these vehicles. 12.6% chance. Spot number 26, the Nissan Armada. 12.6% chance of hitting 250,000 miles, 1.5 times the average. Spot 27, the Mazda CX-9. 12.4% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot number 28, Acura MDX. 11.9% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Spot 29, Honda Odyssey. 1.5% chance. Spot 30, the Ram 1500, down an 11.5% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. So that rounds out the light duty. Let's jump over to the top brands, top seven brands. Hey, and real quick, do you have a car that's not on that list? Put it in the comments below. I'm curious to see how accurate this list is really. The longest lasting brand, seven automakers that have above average lifespans. Of course, that's broken down. Number one, Toyota, 17% chance of hitting 250,000 miles. Honda, 13.6%. Ram, 11.5%. GMC, 11.4%. Chevy, 10.5%. Lexus, 9.7%. And Ford, 9.5%. Toyota and Honda are at the top, but I was surprised to see Ram there so high. But hey, I've heard a lot of good things about Ram and everybody in my comments are always talking, hey man, go go check out the Rams. They're awesome. So, and then there was also this list that they had on their study of heavy duty trucks, which I thought it was funny that the Tacoma was in there. I think they sprinkled some data in there that was just bad. Um, and the Tundra is not considered a 2,500 either, but, uh, this is an interesting list of the longest lasting heavy duty trucks. So the Ram 3,500, 42.6% chance of reaching 250,000 miles. I wonder if that's because of that old, you know, the old inline six with none of the emissions stuff on it. Like there's a bunch of old Rams that just have insane mileage on them and it's skewing the average. Uh, that could be there. Uh, Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD, 29%. The Sierra 2500, 29%. Silverado 3500, 28%. Followed by the Ford F-350 and F-250, 28 and 27% respectively. Ram 2500, 27.2%. And then it goes down to the Tacoma, the Sierra 3500. Uh, I actually got this on IC cars. I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below. Let's go through these SUVs really quick. So yeah, this is this list is broken down by SUVs. The Sequoia, obviously 36%. Forerunner, we already went over. Most of those we've already gone over on the top. The Expedition 13.1, the Pathfinder 13%, the Armada 12.6%, uh, Mazda CX-9 12.4%, the Escalade ESV, well that's pretty much just a fancy Suburban, right? The Durango 8.5%, Subaru Outback 8.4%. And last but not least, the sedans, the Toyota Avalon 22%, Honda Accord where it went through 16%, the Camry 13.5%, Camry's lower than I thought, the Accord's kind of beating the Camry out. The Accord Hybrid 13%, Prius 12%, Camry Hybrid Hybrid is 11%, Lexus ES 10%, the IS 9%, the Corolla 7.8%, the Civic is 7.2%, then the Altima is 6.3%. So all those still higher than average opportunity to hit 250,000 miles, so not bad. So a quick note on where this data came from and how they came up with it, because I know that people are wondering. Uh, they say that they analyzed over 402 million cars. The average odometer reading for each vehicle was calculated at a yearly at each yearly age, and a proprietary model based on these average mileages was developed to estimate the probability that each vehicle would survive various to various mileage thresholds. Heavy duty vans and models with insufficient data were excluded from further analysis, except heavy duty trucks were included for the truck specific analysis. So some of this is based on modeling, but I do think that this data is probably correct and it's based on odometer. I actually really like the methodology of, of basing reliability on like odometer readings because who cares what JD Power and, and consumer reports and all these initial quality reports say, who cares about initial quality? I care if something's going to hit 200, 300,000 miles. So another thing to pay attention to in this list, you'll notice the Toyota Tundra is 36.6%. It's at the top of the list. Same with the Sequoia. Now, obviously, if you've been paying attention, the latest third generation Sequoia and Tundra, they're having all sorts of engine troubles. There was a huge recall. Most people know about that. So this data is based on older vehicles. I would say if you're looking at this list, assume that every car on it is probably at least five years old, four to five years old, because most cars don't hit 250,000 miles for a very long time. The average consumer puts on like 12 to 15,000 miles a year. Sure, there are anomalies. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at this data. One really simple way 
that I've found to just find within a brand and within a model. Don't look at entire brands, right? So don't look at the top seven manufacturers. I don't really like this part of the study to say that like Toyota 17%, it's the highest one. And, and on average, if you just buy a Toyota, you're gonna have a great experience. That's not true. You need to look at the model and the year specifically. Uh, the easiest way I do that is to look at national highway traffic and safety data, look at the recall data, or you can go to like carcomplaints.com, drill down to manufacturer, and then the make model year, and you'll find what you're looking for there. Don't trust like just brand loyalty blindly. That's never a good way to go. So just wanted to throw that in here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you have, how many miles you got on it. Love to see all the high mileage people in the comments. It's always fun to own a vehicle, maintain a vehicle, and just, I don't know, you feel, I almost feel better about driving my vehicle that has 230,000 miles on it than I would a brand new one anymore. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Till next time.